Saddle wherever the snow cat is, or the nipple. If there's a deep across here, come, 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 come. Let's yeah, yeah, check out and then peel right. And always have like a safe out. Be a little wider out, a little further out. It looks steeper here. I'd be able to fly out of this, but still getting some really awesome footage. Yeah, close to the close to the mountain there. That's the way it lines up. That's that's perfect. We all have to out to the right. Hanging with the Cavu crew is kind of like Pavlov's bell, you know. After so many years of, of every time I'm hanging out with Barry Barr and the Cavu crew, it's like the most incredible life highlight ever. Anytime that bell rings, I'm, I'm going, I'm gonna come for sure. For me, it's not even a question really. Like when something like this comes together uh, and you have all of my best friends that are coming out to, coming out to jump and we have we have helicopters, multiple helicopters. And then you get up here with all your friends coming from all over the country and it's just an awesome reunion of everyone, having a good time in an amazing place. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now. I wouldn't come here just to do this by myself. You know, it, it, it sounds cool, but it's, it wouldn't be nearly as fun if it wasn't our, our whole group here. The call was for Fernie and, and on top of just the amazing crew of people to, to get together with and to adventure with. Fernie's one of these places uh, on the planet that's got magic in it. I mean, it's, we're surrounded by these unbelievably beautiful mountains. The only thing I've ever seen that looked like it is the Alps. I mean, mountains as far as you can see, all capped in snow with you know, a little town in the valley. Anywhere that you're gonna be where grizzly bears are walking around, it's, it's gotta be a pretty cool place.
it's just this shining gem. Uh, it's sort of the highest point of the skyline and it's covered in snow. And on the far side of it is this big thousand foot sheer wall. It's really intimidating looking up there. There's a big tower on top that kind of, you can tell somebody's gone up there and kind of staked their claim of this is the coolest place in town. Going up in the helicopter, we get this kind of little moment of seriousness right before we all get on the helicopter. You know, we do a full proper gear check, leg strap, leg strap, make sure our pilot shoots are nice and clean. I mean, there's a lot to think about on the technical side of things, on the, you know, gear, make sure everything's proper and nice and safe. It's pretty intense. I mean, I'd say uncomfortable. Do you really like this, you know? We know, like I know that everyone in the helicopter was, is not necessarily scared, but definitely excited, nervous. Yeah, maybe, definitely scared too. I'm uncomfortable because the reality of what you're doing is like, yeah, you're having fun, you're playing, but I mean, for me, and it's something I kind of have to keep in check is I often I'm thinking about the things that, not the things that could go wrong, but it's like, it is on my mind. All these things go through your, you know, you kind of a little bit of sensory overload. So you're like, oh man, it's so cold, and whoo, I wonder how this is gonna go. And your tensions are kind of high, and your your heart rate's high. You're a little freaking out. You're checking your you're checking your gear over and over. You're checking your pilot sheet. You're going through the jump. You're looking at the spot where you're gonna jump out of the helicopter. You're planning your line. I'm looking exactly right where I'm going to fly right now, and the terrain looks awesome. And there's big rocks and trees and. You're kind of looking at all the features as you're going up. Like, this is how I want it to work out. If, uh, if it ends up like this, you know, what am I going to do? You know, you're, you're thinking about stepping out of the chopper onto the skid and, you know, what foot's going to be, you know, forward and, and to make sure you're all zipped up and everything's good. And then right as you exit, it's kind of like a calming moment. You're committed to the jump. There's no turning back. So 
it kind of switches from a lot of fear to focus and your mind is clear and you're just thinking about what you're doing, you're thinking about the flight. You're, you're sort of trying to convince yourself to step into this place where you can't even, you don't even have the mental capacity to pay attention to anything other than right here and now, which is really kind of the magic of life, right? Like before and later, it does, doesn't matter. It's, it's only now, it's only here. And it's, it's really special. It's a really special place to be. And then you step off and all of a sudden the part of your brain that generates memories doesn't work anymore. And you're just, you're really in the moment because you're, you're only reacting to what's in front of you. And, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible place to, to live for a short period of time, you know? that these sports are, are like art is something that's kind of new to me. Like, why do you do this? It, it is an expression of some kind. That's why it's so hard to try and explain like why you do it or because it's different every time. I've never come to like one conclusion as to why I jump. You know, it changes. It started out m more, like an, more like an expression and you know, where, yeah, I can actually do this. And then I started finding a lot of joy in it. I was like, I've never experienced such, you know, intense times we're comfortable and we know each other's moves and what, what's going to happen next and so it's nice to fly together jumping all the time it feels more natural you know just like anyone running a river they you're doing it all the time it feels like something you should be doing and you're current at it which is safer so it makes it a lot more enjoyable experience and less less 
of a terrifying experience? It's what I feel the best doing out of anything, anything that I've ever done. You know, it's what gives me the most satisfaction. You feel great. You feel, you know, crazy amount of speed that you can add and uh, to, you know, make the suit fly how you want it to. Uh, you can go wherever you want, fly down, you know, fly down through the mountains and the trees. It's, it's wonderful. I think uh, a lot of people view um, certain activities that that involve risk and consequence as, as maybe uh, being done by people who are just crazy. And yeah. But the honesty of it is, is that if you've respected the progression and you've done it correctly, you've taken a, a lot of steps to be prepared mentally and physically to be at that position at that time. So what those people don't see is all of the skydiving and all of the base jumping and all of the preparation that was taken in small steps to lead up to that point so that when you're standing on the edge of a cliff or in a helicopter, wearing a wingsuit about to do this thing, you know, you might deal with some natural fears and doubts because, you know, I mean, let's face it, on a genetic level, your being would be sort of maybe telling you it wasn't such a good idea. So far, I think if you keep a good crew around you, if you get enough people uh, looking out for each other, you're usually gonna avoid making bad calls. And people here that aren't even jumping, so even the jumpers get a crazy idea, because we're all super amped. Someone who's not jumping is gonna be like, that's terrible. You should just definitely not do that, and uh, it's good. That's what your friends are here for. That was the best rush I've ever had in my whole you life. You did so awesome, that was so much fun.
awesome. Oh. <laughs> nice dude, how did it go? It was awesome. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, just like burn out. Oh, sweet, it went great. Man, that was some <laughs> descent right here. Yeah. It's a, little, it's a little bumpy and weird. Um, yeah. hey, I don't know about this. Catch that tandem? Yeah, yeah, I'll catch them. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That's so fun. Good job. That was bad. I can't believe how you descended so fast right now. <laughs> Front ride. This is a good race car. Bro. <laughs> got the road in the water. Want me to take it off? No, no, no. Just stay inside. Chill here for a minute. Hey! You want to get them on camera? They come in right here. Okay, Harvey, they give it. Yeah? Run at them with that one. Yeah, I think you decided.